Everybody, the GOAT conversation, it's officially over. Now I'm talking about Mr. Sonny Moore, everyone knows him as Skrillex and he has just settled the debate. He's dropped two albums in the space of like five days. Now we kick this off in the beginning, I mean we all know the classic Skrillex, freaking bangerang, what more needs to be said. But the man is still working in 2023 and just dropping an album that is just, it's just pure heat just pure heat. So in this video I just thought it would be a good time to tackle a Skrillex style track. Um, I've already made a Skrillex tutorial before but of course he's made new music so I gotta tackle his new style. So in this video I'm specifically focusing on the Quest for Fire album now that's the more dubstep trap sort of EDM focused album and there are some heaters on that album absolute heaters. What I'm aiming to do in this video is to just try and encapsulate those heaters into one heater of my own. Hopefully it actually will be a heater, but um, yeah, that's for you to decide. So uh, let's get into this uh, Quest for Fire Skrillex type beat. All right, headphones on, we are into FL Studio. Let's go. First things first, tempo. For this track, I am going with a 145 tempo. We are, we're making basically a, a trap slash dubstep type track. So first things first, I want to start off with a vocal. Now Skrillex uses vocals quite a lot in his songs. Um, usually they're quite processed and sort of auto-tuned and sort of, they just have a Skrillex vibe, honestly. Just, it should be, it should be a genre now, like Skrillex type vocal. Maybe I can get lost in you. Can't get enough of you. Maybe I can get love. Why you gonna get love? Alright, secondly, I wanted to start off the track with uh, the Quest for Fire melody. Now, if you've listened to the album, you are going to notice this melody appearing in a number of tracks. So to make this melody, obviously I am just playing some core notes in here, as you can see here. I'm actually playing this on a piano. And then I've got this little plucky synth thing in here from Serum as well. I guess the main sound are these little vocal slices. So they just come from this, this one little vocal sample type thing. So pair those together and add some distortion and some compression and some reverb. You get something that uh, sounds like the Quest for Fire melody. Alright, so next up, uh, Savid tutorial staple is to just add some atmospheres um, that are just filling up some frequencies in the mix. So when we cut away from that last little part on the intro, I just wanted to put a little vocal sample in there. I'm just going to use a speech sample. Um, Skrillex has done that in a few of his songs. Just has some dude or some chick just, just spitting facts basically. So for my track, I've chosen this little sample. It's quite true. Um, it's quite beautiful. What we need is knowledge and love. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong, ladies and gentlemen. We just need knowledge and love. Just straight facts out here, straight facts in this Savage tutorial. All right, so now that we've got our little intro, we need to fade into more of a verse section, get the energy up a little, uh, get that sort of Skrillex vibe progressing even more. So I'm just gonna tie everything together with a low pass bass line. Um, this is a simple just four chord progression. We're going G, E flat, F, C, just easy stuff. And this is just on a nice low pass serum bass. Add back all our nice elements. I'm actually cutting away the melody for this first little bit. Um, I'm adding this little atmospheric sample just as a little bit extra tonality. I guess the staple of the section is adding this little break beat in here. Um, quite a dirty sort of like acoustic natural sounding break beat in there. You've probably heard it on a few of Skrillex's tracks. He likes to use like a break beat and it just sounds sick all the time. Thank you. 
And then throughout this verse, I'm just repeating my little beautiful inspirational phrase of love. Love, 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 love. And knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. All right, so now this is where we bring back our quest for fire melody. So I'm gonna change up the bass line just a little. We're just changing up that chord progression just slightly. What you can see here is I've also dragged the vocal just off beat, just I guess off two beats. By doing that, it uh, it actually changes up the vibe quite a lot. From going from that first section and moving to the second section, we bring the melody in, change up the bass, and then with the, the vocal just off beat a little, it actually just makes it a whole new whole new feeling to it. I I don't know how to explain it. I just that's that's how I'm going to explain it. Uh, you're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, there's nothing more I can do. So we're moving into the build up section here. This is where we are getting we're going to start to get a little bit wild. A little bit crazy and wild, you know? So first things first, let's start from the top and work down. Just looping the vocal, just in classic, like, build-up fashion. Got a little sub riser in there that is just simply uh, one note, G, uh, pitching up. We got a few kicks in there. And then we got the all important yoink. Woo! Here comes another one, boys. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So I gotta admit, boys, I'm cheating on the yoinks, but Cymatics has a nice little Skrillex inspired pack over there, and it's full of yoinks, so uh, I'm just capitalizing on the yoinks, man. Throughout this build up, uh, we just got this like nice little percussion loop. I thought it sounded quite fitting for a Skrillex track. Then we have this tight, nice little riser that I've heard in multiple different Skrillex songs. It's such a good way to just build the energy um, and it's just so simple. Uh, it's literally just a sine wave pitching up an octave slowly, uh, just with a little bit of distortion. And I've just got it playing three notes on the G, quite, quite high pitch notes. More stuff we've got in here is uh, just some nice little white noise risers. Just got our drop melody, just teasing the drop a little. Um, that's just low pass filtering in there just to sort of keep it in the background, just tease it out a little bit. Last but absolutely not least is the little samples before the drop hit. So we've got, what's that, two bars here where we just have some machine guns and then we have probably one of the most famous samples in EDM it's the oh my gosh the, the Skrillex oh my gosh yes! oh my God! hear that with a little drum fill and a sweep up we have a sick little pre-drop sample let's listen to that Right now we're heading into our drop section. Now you're about to see that this drop is actually heavily inspired by Xena. I just thought that was such a freaking dope track, just the way everything fits together. So I want to do something similar. So let's start off with the drums because they are actually not too difficult, but I mean, Skrillex loves his drums. So you gotta make sure you got pop and freaking bus and drums in there. So firstly, we just have a nice fat little kick. Then we need a nice layered snare that's got like nice hard and harsh sort of tonality to it. You want a snare that really punches through the mix and just freaking assertive as, like that's the best way to describe it. Just 
assertive drums and then literally the only other thing to add to this drum beat is some hi-hats hip-hop hi-hats will do So now we get to the holy grail of the drop. It is the percussion melody. So obviously, if you know the song Xena, just an out of this world percussion melody drop that just hits unbelievably hard. So what we've got is our primary percussion sample. Now I've tried to, it was actually a, quite a struggle to tune this for my key. So you can see this is a C sharp sample. It's pitched up to 300 cents. And what note is that C sharp? D, D sharp, E. So that's a freaking E. On an E, I'm playing an F and then a B. I'm not gonna sit here and try and figure out what notes I'm playing. I just know I'm hitting the right notes here, so that's good enough for me. So first of all, let's start with no pose processing. Uh, you can see that we've just got this little melody put together here. So essentially we're just playing a percussion beat like you would with two hands if that's how you Play percussion you can see the velocities are sort of up and down around here just to give it that sort of rhythm and momentum so on the post processing side firstly we've got some frequency shifter because that wasn't quite in tune so i've just shifted it until the frequency just felt fine tuned then i've got some auto pitch on it some auto tune um, this is just actually in the key of my song so again it's just tuning it it's just keeping it nice and consistent with the key of the song next we just got some saturation um, that's just pulling it and squashing it in just making it nice and tight then we have some serum effects which is just some short little delay this helps with the width and just make it feel a bit fuller Then we're just chucking some compression on that with some OTT. Controlling a bit of stereo. Um, I'm actually making it less wide because I thought it just felt better in the mix when it was less wide. And then this one's a big one. It's just a reverb sweep. So as you can see in these automation clips, it's the reverb being turned on. It just fills the empty space and actually gives it some cool, cool forward momentum. Altogether with the reverb sweep, it sounds like this. All right, next up, we adding some yoinks, boys. We adding some freaking yoinks. Now, I just love Skrillex yoinks. Again, I admit I'm cheating, but hey, if the yoinks are there for you to use, you gotta use the yoinks, boys. I've just thrown in different yoinks here and there. I'm keeping them on tune. So here is my sub pattern. Uh, we're going a G and E flat and then down to a low C. So I'm just pitching my yoinks to fit that chord progression, I guess, that just littered throughout the drop. I'm gonna play them with the melody so you can just hear them in the context. So as I mentioned, uh, I've just got a simple little sub in there. This is just a sine wave with a bit of distortion on it. Just got like a nice simple little pattern here. You'll notice this little doubled up note here. I accidentally double clicked on the pattern over here and just made this cool sound. I also added a little low G and um, man, it just makes it like fat. It's almost a yoink in itself. To fill out the mix a little, we just have a little repeating phrase that I've taken from the acapella. And then at the end of the first drop section, I'm just repeating the vocal just to bring it back round to our sort of introduction. Alright, going into the second half of the drop, we're not changing too much. Um, I'm just adding this little break section with these kicks going hard and the vocal just pitched down. And then what I've done with the percussion melody is actually render it out to audio and then pitch it down an octave. Uh, that's also what Skrillex does in Xena. Um, sounds sounds freaking gangster. So that's essentially just the whole drop. I know super simple, only a few sounds just working together, but they work together so perfectly and that is just the magic of Skrillex music. So there we have it guys, that is essentially all the tools you need to make an absolute 
heater like Skrillex from his album Quest for Fire. Such a dope, dope album and just really solidifies Skrillex as just the top of the game. I mean, he's always been at the top of the game and it just shows he's always gonna be at the top of the game. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned one or two things and found something you can put towards making your own track that's sort of in the style of Skrillex. So that's enough from me. I will leave you with the final result right now. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Baby, I can keep lost in you. Can't get enough of you. Baby, gotta get up. Why you gotta get up? Baby, I can keep lost in you. Can't get enough of you. Baby, gotta get up. What we need is knowledge and love. Baby, I can keep lost in you. Can't get enough of you.